So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian McConville.